I got nothing. Man, I went out today, tried to hit the beach, going to try to find some gold today. And it was rough out there. The wind was blowing. It was terrible. Um, anyway, let me show you a couple scenes from there. And at the end of this video, though, I'm going to show you some other little, little couple updates you might want to see. Check this out right now. <laughs> It's pouring down rain out there, and the temperature just dropped 20 degrees. But guess what? We're going out. And you'll understand why in just a minute when I show you something. Stay tuned. All right, it's rough out here today, buddy. Look at that. The wind is howling, and the temperature's dropping, and my foot's leaking. Just but got that one here. Doc just got this right here. Oh, that's yeah. pretty, though. It's nice. I like it. Good. And he got a couple other ones yesterday that, uh... If maybe he pulls it. Oh my god, look at that! Gold, baby, gold! They're all gold right there. One way to over. Ow! That's awesome. That's why we're here today, right there. Alright, let's try for a little while longer anyway. We'll give it a shot. Here we go. Alright, guys, that's dedication right there. Look at that. Docks in the water. That's dedication right there. That temperature's in the 40s now. Both my shoes are leaking, and I can't make it. <laughs> look at Doc. Go for it, Doc. You can do it. Oh, man. He got a signal. He's digging it out. I had to find a three gold rings yesterday. He's all over. Me too. But I don't know how I can't last. I got both my shoes leaking. I might go get different uh, waders, I think. That's what you do right there. Shift, shift it out in the basket, and then you look. Ah, must still be down there. He's still hunting. This is it a gold ring? I don't know, let's see, might be. Let's see what he's got. Then you check the hole, see if there's anything in it after you get the scoop, and hopefully, if you don't get a read and you check the scoop, sometimes you gotta keep checking though. Let's see what he's got, what is it? Junk! Whoa, it's junk. All right, a piece of iron, there's a lot of iron in here. All right, let's keep getting up. I right, just want to show you how much this beach has actually gotten eroded away. Check it out. Look at that. This used to be up there. Now it's dropped down three or four foot. So anything heavy should have stayed right here on the beach. And you can see on the edge right there where the sand, uh, there's a little ledge right there where the waves have come up and eat away at that beach. This beach has definitely dropped down several feet. So the heavy stuff should have stayed right here on top. All right, that's what we're looking for, the heavy stuff. Gold. I got me some new waders on and a different beach. We're gonna hit it up right now. Let's see what we can do. All right, stay tuned. All right, you never know what you're gonna find washed up on the beach. Check it out. That is one huge, I guess it's a bumper for a ship or something. But that is a big boy washed up here. Somebody lost something. All right, let's keep looking till we find. Ain't found anything yet. We'll keep looking. All right, that's gonna be a bus for the gig master today. It is cold, it is windy. And I'm not finding anything. Best case scenario, I'm going to show you what Doc found yesterday. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned. All right, you got to cut me some slack because that was rough there, man. I will show you right now what uh, Doc found. And you saw the gold rings. I'll show you a little closer view of those right now. And some other stuff he found. He's found a lot of heavy stuff yesterday, that is. And uh, then I'll show you what he found today. All right, here's what he found uh, yesterday. And this looks really good. He's got a lot of heavy stuff there. And got these right here, these nice three gold rings. They're awesome. That's what got me psyched up to go. But it was just so bad that they couldn't do anything. Uh, this is what uh, Doc got today. He did get one stainless steel ring. And we weren't there very long, but he did find one stainless steel ring. And it looks pretty cool. But uh, I'm not going to show you what I found because uh, I got much to show you couple of little small things, not even a coin. I've never gone there and not got a coin. Even though I wasn't there long, that's the first time I've ever gone to the beach and not even get a coin. Terrible. All right, anyway, I was going to show you a couple more things here. Uh, I was cleaning out. This is uh, these jars right here, you can see up close. This is Indian pottery. And I started putting a few in uh, some of the jars here. You can see them. Uh, you can see some of the stuff on edges of some of the pottery where you can see some markings on them and all. But... Anyway, I thought I'd save a couple, little bit of pottery I ran across the other day. And as I was cleaning the pottery up, I ran across these. Two arrowheads in the, mixed in with the pottery that I had missed before, which were kind of cool. They kind of This one's like a black slate. It's really pretty. Uh, you can see it's amazing how them guys can chip things off and 
make them so pretty looking, man. I'm telling you. It's broken top and bottom, but still it looks kind of cool. And this has got this one's broken just a tip off right there. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to give you another quick little update. If y'all remember seeing this right here on the video, uh, day before yesterday when me and Keith were out, I said, I'm not sure what it is, uh, but anyway, it looked pretty pretty decent. I might think of something. And sure enough, a guy online, Joey, he come up and said, that's the top of an apostle spoon. I didn't know what an apostle spoon was, but I'll show a picture of it. Check it out. You can see it's like a, I'm not sure which one this is. They make different ones like Jesus and different things, but you can see like it's got a robe on and like two arms coming out there. It's pretty cool. And I'll show some pictures, of, like I say, on the side of that. That's pretty cool. And another little quick update. In the video, we thought the coin that uh, Keith had was a, um, a, a real. It wasn't a real at all. It was actually a hammered silver coin from King Charles I. And it was produced from 1625 to 1649. We were both stoked when we saw it. That was awesome. Get an early coin right there along with those buckles and all. We know in an old spot. All right, so we're going to head back out there not for too long. And uh, we'll try to dig that pit out and a few more things. And uh, see if we can find some more colonial out there. All right, well, stay tuned for our next adventure.